So after we talk about skincare and chemical peels, there are still some issues that may need to be addressed by what we call injectables. So injectables really can just be broken down into two different categories. One of them would be neuromodulators, and then the other one is fillers. Neuromodulators are basically just medications that can soften the contraction of your muscles, usually just in your upper face for things like frown lines, forehead wrinkles, or crow's feet. There are two different brands of neuromodulators that we offer here. There are several or others, but honestly, the two that we use are the ones that we prefer. They give us the longest duration and the best results. Those two brands are called Botox and Dysport. Honestly, that's the main difference in, in them is that they're just different brands. Um, they work the same way. Some patients may feel like one or the other will last longer or kick in faster, things like that. But um, that's always something that we can decide personally whenever you're here in our office. The other type of injectable that we do is a filler. Fillers do exactly what their name states. They just fill in somewhere that maybe is volume depleted either from age, like the lips or the cheeks, or they can even replace an area that needs volume that maybe has always bothered you, you know, even without aging, such as a stronger jawline or maybe a smaller chin. There are so many different fillers on the market and lots of patients get very confused by the name. So I usually start by explaining that there are basically two different brands that we offer here. Um, same thing as the Botox and the Dysport. There's just two brands. So one brand is Allergan and one brand is Galderma. Allergan is also the maker of Botox. So the fillers that they have that we do the most of are Juvederm Ultra Plus, Voluma, Velour, and Volbella. And then Galderma, which is the other brand, they actually make Dysport, the other neuromodulator. And the fillers that they carry that we do the most of here are Sculptra, Restylin Refine, Restylin Define, and Restylin Silk. People are like, well, which one should I use for me? You know, that will vary depending on the patient and depending on basically the area of the face that you're wanting to treat. Some are more lifting or thicker and made for areas like the cheeks to give lots of lift and volume. Others are softer and meant to look more natural natural in the lips or areas of movement like the nasolabial folds. Most all the fillers we offer here are made of hyaluronic acid. That's actually something that your body has in it naturally, such as in your joint fluid. So it is the safest filler on the market. There's no issues with cross-reactivity or allergic reaction, things like that. That also means that the body will naturally degrade this over time and it will look very natural as it fades out. Most fillers will last on average about one year before they're degraded by the body, but some can last up to two years. There is one exception to this. Uh, the filler or Sculptra is made of a different ingredient called poly L lactic acid, and this works by naturally building your body's own collagen over a number of weeks.